Pixie Doodles. Day five out of five. I know, I know. <laughs> but um, I just finished my Altered a Toothless uh, to a Dragon Guide. And so I am actually really excited to show you guys. Um, I just finished activating it and blessing it. And so I just, sorry, I don't know if you could see me there. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys uh, what I came up with. So, here's my regular altar. Here is my altar to my dragon guide um, and to Toothless. Um, so, what I have here is down at the bottom, um, this was a rock that I had from uh, just moving up here, and it has always been an extremely protective rock. It feels very old, very wise, and so I decided to build my altar uh, over top of that to imbue those energies in. Um, so right now I have um, incense that's burning just from the ritual that I did for the altar, and so um, underneath here I have offerings, my first offering that I left, but basically this is going to be used as an offering bowl. Um, I may leave that on top because there's herbs in it and the kitties have already been super excited to get into it. <laughs> um, but so this is an offering bowl. And so here is the altar that I have. So in the center, of course, we have uh, Toothless or the representation of a dragon spirit guide to be here and to help with protection of our home, of our family. Um, you can really never have too much protection and that's something that I've always um, had issues with is I've never really wanted to do um, protection spells or anything but I, I really feel like every witch should have something in their home for protection because you really can't use enough of it. Um, you know, you always want to do the protection spells once something happens to where you need it. And so it's nice to have something around to prevent it. Um, so in the center here, we have a red candle. Um, if, if you've noticed, I have black and red for the little altar cloths. These are just like those um, felt uh, squares that you can get for like 33 cents at fabric stores. Um, and I actually, every piece that went on here, I asked Toothless. Um, and when I say I asked Toothless, I mean I asked uh, Toothless as in the dragon guide. <laughs> but I asked Toothless for every piece that went on here on where he wanted it to be, uh, what he wanted. Like I originally thought I was going to have different crystals that ended up going on there. Um, and so, like I said, I have a red candle here. I've got red here um, for the fiery, um, the fire protection, fiery and ferocity for protection, um, as well as the passion for the family. Um, you know, when you think of dragons, a lot of times you think of fire. So there you go. That's where a lot of this came from. Um, I have black sea salt here to help uh, get rid of and banish negative energies. I have um, storm water here, and that was the first storm water that I collected uh, this spring, a couple days ago, and that is for, um, you know, storm energy is extremely protective to me. And so that is on there. And then starting back here, um, well, all the way around here, as far as herbs go and spices, I have cinnamon sticks for protection and then red sandalwood uh, for magic and for uh, ridding negative energies. Um, I actually had hawthorn picked out and... They said, nope, we want red sandalwood. And I said, okay, and it actually ended up working out beautifully because all the colors came together awesome. So we have black kyanite, um, an Apache tear. We have red calcite. We have a dragon stone. Um, I have black tourmaline. Let's get that focus a little. There we go. Um, and then I have a fire agate that we actually found. Um, this, is, this is absolutely beautiful. Whoops. See if it can focus there. Uh, probably not. There we go. You should see the sparkles on the inside of this. It's gorgeous. So that's an agate that we actually found. Um, and then I have a um, quartz point in the center here just to kind of um, magnify everything's energies that's on the altar. Um, 
yeah, and so um, some of the crystals are you like a lot of them are used for protection. Some of them are used because I really feel dragon energies within them. Like originally, I wanted dragonstone and serpentine, but they didn't feel like they. <laughs> He didn't want serpentine on there, and now that I see everything together, serpentine just didn't feel right with what the altar was going for. So anyway, that is my new protection altar. I just figured I would show you guys because a lot of you seemed excited to see what I was going to end up doing with a cartoon character as far as the protection altar goes. So um, I hope that you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you later.